Okay, Alessandro, thank you for uh, having us after the, this interview. Thanks uh, for having me. You work for uh, Blockstream, and uh, so uh, the first uh, the first question I have is, uh, what is uh, your role inside uh, inside Blockstream? Uh, what is your uh, your role inside the company? I've been working for Blockstream over the past uh, four years. I'm a product manager and I focus on the consumer products. Uh, so Blockstream Green, uh, the wallet, and Blockstream Jade, the hardware signer, hardware wallet. Mm -hmm. Blockstream uh, uh, Jade, uh, it is a uh, uh, signer device. Uh, it is a uh, um, wallet uh, widely used, uh, I think that you had uh, in the last month uh, a, a rise of, uh, of sales uh, for this wallet. Uh, what are the uh, main features of this wallet? So, um, compared to other hardware wallets, um, it's, it definitely comes much cheaper than all of the other ones because it doesn't have a secure element on board. Um, but still, it compares in terms of security to maybe a ledger device, for instance, with the difference that uh, Jade is a completely um, open source, open hardware um, wallet, open hardware device. So that means that uh, you can basically buy the components even from uh, AliExpress, for instance, for very cheap and reconstruct it yourself. It's a completely, you know, uh, type of uh, do-it-yourself spirit type of hardware wallet. Uh, what this means is that uh, it, has, uh, it has had over the past uh, year since it has been launched a couple of years ago, uh, a lot of scrutiny um, and uh, all of its components has been, have been broken apart and, uh, and been checked. Um, the, both the firmware running on Jade and the hardware are uh, open source and open hardware and can be checked by anyone. Its security revolves around uh, the assistance of a blind pin oracle um, which is basically some sort of virtualized remote secure element um, which enforce the three attempts at max, at most um, for trying your pin basically. Which means if you enter your pin more than three times then all of the keys are going to be erased both from the remote pin server and the jade itself. So it's as secure as having a secure element that enforces this same type of security so that maximum attempts that you are, are used to from any other hardware wallet, but with the difference that uh, it doesn't need a secure element in order to enforce this type of security, but rather it delegates it with the assistance of a remote pin server. So um, there's the dungeon team from uh, Ledger that uh, they are a group of hackers basically uh, that uh, break all type of hardware and especially hardware wallets. They are a team fo so focused on security and they've broken all of the hardware wallets, hardware devices that, that are out there, um, even their own, and they fixed it. Uh, they've, even, they've even broken um, Jade uh, in, in its uh, secure boot part, but they didn't manage to break the remote pin server thing. So what that means is that basically with the remote pin server you have as much security as a secure element would branch you on a, I don't know, a ledger for instance, um, which is currently the most secure, secure element out there, um, with a much cheaper type of device that you can even build it yourself if you wanted to. Okay, very interesting. Um, someone who uh, I speak uh, with uh, uh, sometimes uh, says uh, concerns about the fact that uh, in this model uh, maybe uh, there is a point of failure, maybe a block stream, maybe a single point of failure. What can you answer to these concerns? Absolutely. So we are very much uh, aware of this problem. We don't like to be a point of failure with any of our products. In fact, we build embedded into our philosophy and into our products so that you have the possibility to run your own pin server. You don't need to rely on the Blockstream service, but rather you can run your own service on your machine. Just like you run your own node, you can also run your own pin service. Uh, it's coming to Umbrel soon, so it's going to be very easy to set up. Currently, you can set it up on your Raspberry Pi, for instance, and have um, pin service running at your home or any other remote secure location that 
from where you want to run your service. Okay, but uh, using the ping server from uh, Blockstream, uh, what, what happens uh, if uh, there is no connection? If I want to sign, uh, for example, a uh, transaction, but uh, I do not have a connection. Any type of connection? Well, then in that, ki in that case, you could use um, Jade in another mode, which is its stateless mode, which is probably, you might be familiar with the stateless mode that you can use with the seed signer, where yeah. you scan, for instance, a seed QR, which is a QR code embedding your private keys, a backup yeah. of your private yeah. keys, basically. Uh, and though, when, when you scan the seed QR, you load the keys onto the device, the device uses the keys to sign transactions and then communicates back and forth with the companion client, companion app like, I don't know, Sparrow yeah. via QR codes. It passes a unsigned Bitcoin transaction, a PSBT. It signs it on the device and then you can scan back the signed transaction on Sparrow and then Sparrow can broadcast it later on. That's the kind of mode of usage that SeedSigner has can also be done with the, with with, um, uh, with Jade. In fact, Jade comes with a, an embedded camera you can, that you can use for air-gapped communication with the many clients out there that integrate these, like Blue Wallet, Sparrow, Spectre, they all integrate uh, mm. this type of thing. And you can use, and you can load the transaction, the, the, the keys, the secret keys, temporarily on your Jade, just for the single usage offline that you want to do. And after that, when you turn off your Jade, the keys are going to be erased and forgotten from memory. So it's something uh, similar to Spectre DUI, for example? Exactly. And, uh, okay, so uh, people can use uh, Jade also in this mode? Yes. Without uh, having to rely on uh, the pin server? Exactly. So uh, you, can, you can create uh, offline your uh, your seed phrase uh, using dices, for example, Absolutely. and then you can uh, create the QR, uh, the QR code to scan uh, uh, when we have to make the signature. There's is... actually even a very simple guide that you can follow on the help.blockstream.com website where we have all of our end user guides, where you can find the instructions to generate your own key, your own private keys with, uh, with your own entropy, which means you can use some dices and there's a, a guide that uh, guides you into creating the 24 or 12 words recovery phrase, seed, uh, and then you can export it and hand draw it yourself on um, a template where you, basically you can embed your secret into a QR code. And <coughs> it's pretty simple to, to do, and you can do it directly from, from Jade. This feature is included uh, since uh, some month. Uh, yeah, we've introduced it like uh, in uh, one of the past few uh, firmware versions, like uh, less than less than three months ago. Yeah. So for people who uh, already had uh, uh, Blockstream Jade in the past, uh, they can update uh, the firmware yeah. and they get uh, immediately this uh, this feature. Absolutely, yeah. So this is uh, yes, this is uh, quite nice because uh, yes, as you said, <coughs> Jade is uh, very cheap, and this feature makes uh, uh, the possibility to make signature without having to rely on uh, on uh, any service, server, any service, uh, any external service. Otherwise, uh, it's possible to use with pin server, and it is more easy. And in this case, the seed phrase is on the on the device. Persisted on the device, exactly. So yeah. that uh, it's, uh, when, you, when you turn off your Jade, the keys are going to be encrypted onto the Jade memory, but they cannot be extracted because they are strongly encrypted with an AES 156 bits key, which is the industry standard for secure encryption, basically. If, if that breaks, everything else, banks, banks basically break, um, and the, we have bigger problems. Um, which means that uh, you can't extract the keys while the jade is turned off. You need to turn it on and in insert the pin, the correct pin, and only that will unlock the keys that you can use for, you know, yes. for your transactions. So at least uh, 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 last, uh, last thing to, to remember is that uh, if uh, everyone uh, 
in Italy or also in Switzerland uh, needs jade, uh, they can uh, contact directly you oh, yeah. w without having to import from Texas otherwise exactly. because it's easier. Uh, for example, many of uh, my followers are uh, in, in Italy or in Switzerland. So uh, if you are in uh, our Telegram group, uh, uh, you can contact uh, directly Alessandro and uh, ask for uh, Jade, uh, to purchase a Jade, and he is uh, available. Um, it's, uh, it's all. Thank you very much for uh, this you. interview. And uh, very, very nice to have uh, this interview. Thank you very much.